The Standards Organization of Nigeria deserve our commendations for providing this platform, a virtual open day with MSMEs. It is another excellent opportunity to demonstrate the federal government's unwavering commitment to supporting micro, small, and medium enterprises. As we're all aware, MSMEs account for approximately 48% of Nigeria's gross domestic product and continue to play a vital role in providing jobs and keeping the economy running, despite the many economic challenges exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic across the world. We're fully aware that Nigeria's aspirations for a highly competitive economy will remain unfulfilled if we do not create a business environment that is conducive for your businesses to thrive. Among other factors, a friendly business environment engenders productivity while ensuring that products and services meet the highest standards. It's therefore to the purpose that the theme of this virtual event is improving product quality through standards, through standards. At home and abroad, quality in addition to safety is integral to market entry and market share. Our failure to adhere to international standards for product quality will continue to limit the market acceptability of our products and pose the risk of rejection and non-acceptance of Made in Nigeria products at home and abroad. In an increasingly integrated market all around the world, all hands must be on deck to ensure product quality limitations and technical barriers to trade are removed while improving the market acceptability of products of Nigerian origin. Now, this is particularly important as we seek to expand our exports to the rest of Africa in the African continental free trade area and indeed to the rest of the world. It is our expectation that this event will further educate MSMEs on the recent efforts to improve product standardization, including the Nigerian standardization strategy document and the national quality policy document. The National Standardization Strategy document released by, this, by the SON in 2020 takes cognizance of Nigeria's priorities and serves as a reference document in integrating our standardization needs. Furthermore, the National Quality Policy, which was approved by the Federal Executive Council early this year, will help reduce the infrastructural burden of meeting local and global quality requirements. Today, there are a plethora of programs which this administration has especially curated to support MSMEs, such as the cross-cutting systemic business climate reforms of the PEBIC, Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council. Also, the national MSME clinics with the provision of shared facility centers some of which have been established in Benue, in Lagos, and in a number of states. And the Government Enterprises and Empowerment Program, JEEP, to mention a few. Furthermore, the government's specific COVID response measures rolled out in the Economic Sustainability Plan helped the economy to exit recession speedily by increasing the chances of survival of our MSMEs in the thick of the pandemic. Some of those ESP interventions included the MSME Survival Fund under the Payroll Support Scheme, which supported over 450,000 employees, while the Artisan and Transport Workers Scheme was extended to over 300,000 beneficiaries. 80,000 plus MSMEs received grants under the MSME Grant Scheme, while nearly 250,000 new businesses were registered under the CAC formalization support scheme. Another 36,000 beneficiaries of the guaranteed offtake scheme have received the first tranche, beginning, bringing the total number of beneficiaries to over 1.2 million. We are now extending support to MSMEs in the digital and creative sectors through a collaboration with the African Development Bank on a $600 million program 
which is in, which is titled Investing in Digital and Creative Enterprises, IDICE. However, these interventions will not be sustainable if a deliberate culture of ensuring compliance with global standards and regulations to attain quality benchmarks is not inculcated. The Standards Organization of Nigeria, through, through its mandate as a national standards body, has the capacity to provide Nigerian MSMEs with the required support for production of quality goods to make you competitive across Africa and globally. While there is still a significant amount of improvement required to facilitate an enabling environment for MSMEs to thrive, I must say that I am personally impressed with the efforts so far of the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, and especially the, the, the ministers, the Honorable Minister of Trade and Investment and his colleague, the Honorable Minister of State for uh, in, Industry, Trade and Investment, and especially their commendable capacity for project execution. We must also commend the Standards Organization of Nigeria for the great progress which has been made within the short period since the Director General came into office. And we look forward to the coming into fruition of many of their, of, of their plans. So I urge all participants to take full advantage of this program to learn as much as you can about technical standards as it relates to your products and industry and how to obtain the relevant product certifications and licensing to forge ahead in your enterprise. It is therefore now my very special privilege and pleasure to declare open this uh, interaction with MSMEs, this virtual interaction with MSMEs. Thank you for your kind attention and have a very good session. God bless you.